I can break it down. Um, first, just looking carefully at what they've given me. This right here is the difference of two squares. And this is the difference of two squares. So I have the difference of two squares times the difference of two squares, the product of those two things. Starting out with this one, the difference of two squares I'm going to use my formula a squared minus b squared, where this is a and this is b. So first, write out my formula right here. And I'm going to say that, OK, a is 2x, b is 1. Substitute these values in. For a, I'm going to have 2x squared minus, so that's 2x squared minus 1 squared. OK, 2 times 2 is 4, so that's 2 squared, and then x squared minus 1. Well, I only took care of this part, but this is the same. These are the same. So I've actually got the product of this, 4x squared minus 1 times 4x squared minus 1. So for my first step, I worked with the difference of two squares, this formula. I got down to here. Now, what I see is that I have the square of a difference. I have the difference multiplied by itself. So recall this formula. I have a minus b times a minus b. And that's going to give me a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So again, I could have used FOIL. I could have multiplied it out. But by recognizing this formula, I can work the problem more quickly. Again, my formula. Figuring out my a's and b's, a is 4x squared, and b is 1. Substitute in. For a squared, I have 4x squared, and I need to square that, minus 2 times a, which is 4x squared, times b, which is just 1, plus b squared. Simplifying this, 4 squared is 16. x squared. It's the second power. It's 2 times 2. That's x to the fourth. Negative 2 times 8 is 8 times 1. It's just negative 8. x squared. 1 squared is 1. So looking at this initially, it looked kind of complicated. But when you broke it down into its parts, it, I could, had a formula for this first section, a squared minus b squared recognizing that this is the difference of two squares. And I applied that formula to come up with 2x squared minus 1 squared, or 4x squared minus 1. I recall, though, that I had this twice, the product of this. So I had 4x squared minus 1 times 4x squared minus 1. And this is the, the different, uh, square of a difference. This is the square of a difference a minus b squared. So I use this formula from here on out. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Found my a and b, substituted in, and got my answer. That concludes today's lesson. I'll see you again on educator.com.